Hello dear viewers, my name is Farid Nouri and I'm a migration consultant in Germany. Today I would like to explain for you how you can fill in the two attachments of the application for child allowance in Germany. These two attachments are about someone who is employed in Germany and someone who is self-employed in Germany. But first we talk about someone who is employed in Germany. This attachment is actually the employer certificate of earnings and it should be filled in by your employer if you're employed somewhere. But as an employee, you only fill in some of the initial parts of this attachment, which I am going to explain for you now. Here you write your last name and first name is an applicant and is someone who receives the child benefit here you write the child benefit number or Kindergeldnummer. here you write from which month to which month this employer certificate of earnings is about if you are not sure about the exact time or months of it you just leave it open and your employer should fill it in or write the dates here. In the first part of it, here you write your last name and your first name, and here you write your date of birth. The other parts of this attachment should be filled in by your employer. I mean, including the first page here and the second page till the end of this attachment, including the date, and the address, telephone number, and the stamp of the company, and also the signature of your employer. Once your employer fills it in, you attach this with the main application of the uh, child allowance and your extra documents needed for this application and send it to the familian case. Now I would like to explain for you how you can fill in the attachment about the income of someone who is self-employed in Germany. Here you write your last name and first name is an applicant and someone who received the child benefit. Here you write the child benefit number or Kindergeldnummer. Here you write from which month to which month this income information is about. Here you write your last name and first name, here the date of birth, here you write the type of your trade or activity, here you write the beginning of your activity, I mean the date in which you have begun your activity, here you write the legal form of your company, whether it is GmbH, one man GmbH, KG or LTD and if you have ended your activity you write it is ending date when did you end your activity here you write the address of your office or your company including the street name the house number the postal code and the city where your company or office is located. In part two, it talks about the information about the income from the self-employed job or activity. And the information about it should be filled in in the sheet, which is in the end of this attachment. You can find it there. And I'm going to explain it for you later how you can fill it in as you see it is here the information should be put here in part three you provide information about grants loans or subsidies if you receive a startup grant or other state aid you should mark yeah or yes with a cross if you do not receive such a thing you mark nine or no with the cross. 
If you have marked yeah or yes with a cross, then you should write here which type of startup grants you receive. And here you write from where you receive these startup grants. Here you write how much you receive. Of course, you write it in euro. And from when to when, the dates you write here. If you have received it once, you write it here how much you have received. And here you write the date in which you have received it. In part four, you provide information about your operating rooms or the rooms where your office or company exists. If you have used your rented apartment or house or your own apartment or house for self-employed activity, you mark yeah or yes with a cross. If it has not been the case, you mark nine or no with a cross. It is also the case even if you have used a part of your apartment or your house for the self-employed activity. In that case as well, you mark yeah or yes with a cross. If you have marked yeah or yes with a cross, please write how many square meters uh, your rental or your own apartment or house has. Here you write the number of commercially used rooms and here you write the number of square meters of the apartment or house you have used commercially. Part 5 is about the fact that if there has been other expenses that are not operating expenses. If you have already made advanced income tax payments, you mark yeah or yes with a cross. If it has not been the case, you mark nine or no with a cross. Here you write on which date you have paid it and here you write the amount of it. If you have paid more than once, you write the second date of the payment of it here and here you write the amount which you have paid the second time. This part is only about the safety of your information and you confirm that the information you have provided in this attachment is correct and complete and you agree with the collection, processing and use of your data which are collected by the Fumidian Castle for the payment of the child allowance. Here you write the date in which you have filled it in and you'll send it to the Familian Kasse. Here you sign as an applicant or your legal representative should sign here. Here again you write the date in which you fill in and send it to the Familian Kasse. And here someone who has income from a self-employed activity should sign here. Now I would like to explain for you how you can fill in the sheet which I already explained for you shortly about in the second part of this attachment. The information you provide about the income of your self-employed activity should be for the period of time you already wrote in the attachment about the self-employed activity. Here you write your last name and first name as someone who receives the child benefit. Here you write the child benefit number. If you have a small business according to paragraph 19 of the Value Added Tax Act of Germany, you mark yeah or yes with a cross. If it is not the case, you mark nine or no with a cross. This part is about your income. Here are the months, in which months, how much income did you have? First month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, and sixth month. Here, 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 and here you write the names of the months. Here you write the sum of all these months. 
how much income in total did you have in these six months if you have some remarks you write them here 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 and here here below you also write the total operating income of your business for each month here 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 and here and in this part you provide information about your expenditures similar to the first part you provide information about the expenditure of each month here 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 and here and here below you write under each month the operating costs of your company or business thanks a lot for watching my video if you would like to get similar important information about the immigration laws in germany your rights and duties in german society the living conditions in germany and other such important topics please subscribe and follow our channel if you have any questions or remarks about today's topic you can write it under this video and i will be more than happy to answer it for you